In this tutorial video, I'll show you how easy it is to save and load scenes in a catechist. If you don't already have a private space to work in or don't know how to unlock your menu, get in contact with us by sending an email to info at and we'll get you set up. With your menu open, you'll wanna use the top trigger, the trigger finger, to open the edit menu. Inside of edit, You'll primarily be working within assets to create and customize a scene. I'll place a skeleton in this one. Once you've got your scene configured exactly as you need it, click Saver. In the top right corner, you'll see the Save tab. In that Save tab, you can click on this field to enter a name for the scene. I'll call it 1A and Submit. I'd like to save this as both local and server side. So I'm going to select both, which is highly recommended. Hit save. Now I can take a screenshot of my scene. And there they are. The online version is indicated by the green circle and the offline version does not have a green circle. If I want to create another scene, I come into my assets. Let's add a tray to this one. I'll go back to Saver, back to Save, and this one I'll call 1B. Hit Submit, Save, take a picture of the scene. I'm just moving my menu out of the way. Hit OK. I've got two online scenes now, 1A and 1B, and then I have offline versions of the same. So if I want to lo load version or load scene 1A, I just simply click on that scene and I have a flyout menu up here, and I can hit load or delete. Let's hit load. Here we are in scene 1A, and the tray is gone. If I open 1B and hit load, the tray is back. It's that easy to save and load scenes in a catechist. If you have questions or get stuck anywhere, feel free to email anytime at info at